We experience the holiday season and more right now. What is up everyone? This is Damien at Disney Hacker here today. We're at Disneyland. If you're new to this channel, welcome. You guys are already part of the D3 Hacker family. Welcome back to the ride and let's get this party started. All right, everyone. We are here back at the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. That's right, first. We are here celebrating the Veterans Day, number one. But besides that, folks, today is November 11th, which is also the start of the holiday season here at the Disneyland Resort. How amazing is that, folks? Wow. The holidays are already here and they're in full swing. Look at this line. We are on Main Street, by the way. People are in line to take a picture with a giant Christmas tree here on Main Street. Wow, look how majestic it looks. But anyway, folks, today I waited a little bit to do my November update for the opening of the holiday season, the start of the holiday season, I should say. So thanks for your patience. And hey, we are here, back here at the happiest place on earth for the holidays. How are you guys doing out there, D3 Hackers? I hope you guys are pleasant and well as we walk down Main Street, USA. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna cover, you know, what's going on in the parks for the holiday season for this month of November and possibly December as well. And of course, we're gonna give you the monthly update of what's going on as far as attractions that are open and closed. And you got a big surprise recent news about the treehouse. So we're gonna go over and walk over to the treehouse over in Adventureland. Then we're gonna just cruise around the park and take a look at all of the magic here in the parks. Go we'll start here at Disneyland and we're gonna go across the way to DCA later on and check out the festival of the holidays over there at Disney California Adventure. But I'm, my goal today is like to try to get some delicious treats in today. A lot of good treats. I'm gonna do a couple of videos, standalone videos on some treats, holiday treats here in the parks this time of year. Very delicious. But besides that, folks, we're gonna sit back and just enjoy the, the ambiance and the magic that is Disneyland. With that being said, folks, let's go to our first update. All right, everyone, our first official update here at Disneyland is here in Adventureland. We finally got some news, folks, of the Treehouse. The Treehouse, formerly known as the Tarzan Treehouse, it is going to be known as Adventureland Treehouse, inspired by Walt Disney's Swiss, fam Swiss Family Robinson. How cool is that, folks? Wow. And here's the artist rendering of it right here. Looks really amazing. They're bringing the um, paddle back and everything like that. This looks really, really cool. Really old school meets the new school, folks. If you guys are not familiar, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse is here. One of the original favorite attractions here at Disneyland back in the 1960s, but it was converted in the 1990s, 1999, to the Tarzan Treehouse, and now it's going to be bringing it back. Like It's like a hybrid form. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Wow. I cannot wait till this opens back up. They're saying it's supposed to open back in, I believe, sometime in 2023. Again, this is a Swiss Family Treehouse here in Adventureland at Disneyland. With that being said, folks, let's go to our next update. All right, everyone, we continue our adventure into Frontierland here at Disneyland and check out some of the cool holiday decorations here in the area. Wow, look at the Pioneer Merchandise shop right there. You got the garland up, looking nice and beautiful. Let's walk over there and get a closer look at the garland. Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. I love the holiday season, folks. You know, it just it feels that, that much more magical here in the parks. You can see the shooting expedition, got some garland up right there. Very, very cool. We're going to continue over further into Frontierland and see if they have an update on the seating area next to the Mark Twain over here while we're in that area. So, 
anyway, he has more holiday fillings and decorations here in the area right here. Look at that. Awesome. And if you notice, like you walk through each land, they have their own variation of Christmas music playing in the background. Got the reefs on the Mark Twain right there in front of you guys. Very cool. And here, let's go over here. Over by the River of America. Now, not too much going on right here over in Frontierland. Nothing, not too much to update about. But just nice, nice and pretty much peaceful here. Over here, it's pretty much this is a popcorn line. This is a popcorn line for the popcorn buttons right there. But you can see that's some minor, minor construction going on over there, over at Tom Sawyer Island, right there. So that's about all of the update we have over here in Frontierland. I'm gonna walk on the other side and see if we got to get an update on the actual seating area in a second. With that being said, folks, stay tuned. All right, everyone, we are on the other side of Frontierland. I should say on the, right across from Big Thunder Mountain Railroad for our next update. We have an update on the shipping office right here. As you know, it was closed for renovation for a few months and look at it, it's nice and open now. Wow. So this is a nice viewing spot where you go sit and have your lunch, have your chibichanga and just chill and watch a water train riverboat go by, pass by and just people watch right up here. So very, very cool they have. Let's see, let's take a quick closer look. Look like just did like some fine finishing on woodwork right here. Nice and smooth everything, just smooth everything out right here, but very cool. And of course, you know, the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is still closed right now, unfortunately. But this is like early in the morning. It'll probably get be ready up and running in a couple of hours. Again, we are back over here in Frontierland at the shipping office. With that being said, folks, let's go to our next update. All right, D3 Hackers, we're making a quick stop over here in Batu. As you can see, the Bounty Hunters Interactive kiosk is now open. Now, this is part of the new Disney um, Magic Band Plus interaction they have going on here. It's really, really cool. You can pick missions for the Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter missions and things like that. And they have like this cool uh, interactive not animatronic, but it's like a, a hologram that interacts with you right here. You scan your magic band. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool addition. You know, this is one of the few things you could get if you do have the magic band plus that is worth getting. Other than that, I would say wait on getting the magic band plus. With that being said, folks, let's continue our update around the park. All right, everyone, we are at the happiest place of them all. It's a small world holiday here at Disneyland. Oh my, it's officially open now through the first week of January. How amazing is that? So if you're not familiar, it's a small world holiday. It's another Christmas layover like they did on Haunted Mansion. All the dolls are dressed up in their Christmas attire and singing a holiday version of It's a Small World. It is so cool. With that being said, folks, I'm gonna show you a little bits and pieces of this attraction right now. Here we go. that amazing folks now let's head over to dca to check out all the holiday magic over there all right everyone we have made our way across the way here to dca how great is that folks this is day one opening weekend of the festival of holidays how cool is that folks wow i love dca more and more during the holiday season almost as much as i love disneyland mainly a reason i love dca a little bit more because of the amazing food Yes, the Food and Wine Festival, folks. We're gonna check that out. We might get a treat while we over here, but we're gonna check out and see what is new 
over here you got the Christmas tree right there up here on Point of Vista Street looking magnificent how amazing is that and the crowd is just as busy over here as it is over at Disneyland but you know what we're gonna do we're gonna make our little rounds give you guys a quick update of what's open I think everybody's open but I think the main attraction over here is going to be the Food and Wine Festival. We're going to take a crew, walk around there and just see the, all the offerings that they have. And like I said, folks, we may get a nice little treat. We're going to look at the, some of the kiosks and see the offerings and get a surprise for you. With that being said, folks, let's take a cruise down the main thoroughfare here at DCA and check out some of the cool kiosks. Let's go. Alright, everyone. We have our Festival of Holidays tasting passport and let you guys know that if you have a magic key there the passport the kiosk the lanyard is $54 for you uh, magic key holders but we're gonna take a look at here the different marketplaces they have here which is really cool we're gonna make a round trip and see and you have all the cool festivities going on here there are Yachty Divas mostly culture you have the mistletoes they're really good Blue 13 Dance Company, Tina and the Sounds of Celebration, and of course the Fat Cat Swinger. Now being said folks, let's take our trip around this awesome festival. First up you have a Trist, the Twisted Tradition, which is serving curry mac and cheese, box of everything bagel nachos, and guava melon lassi. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Over here near the entrance of the Festival of Holidays, you have the Holiday Duets, which feature the Southern Mac and Cheese, the Pork Belly ab Ablo, and the Sodden Punch. That looks amazing. Again, this is a Holiday Duets kiosk. Next, you have the Vision of Sugar Plums, which features the chocolate bourbon flavor tart made with Twix. Ooh, that's delicious. Sweet potato stuffed uh, corn muffin, cranberry chai, pisto punch, and Pina Hispus Mule. That looks delicious. Let's go to our next kiosk. Over here at the Blues and Bites, you have a seasonal specialty flight here. You also have the festive flight, and you also have the festival beer flight, and they feature the impossible Chaluso Queso Panduno. That looks so amazing. Next up, you have the Winter Sliderland. They have the Holiday Ham Slather Slider, the Brisket Slider, Caramusa Yule Log Cocktail. Wow. The Cherry Mango Punch. That all looks delicious. Again, this is at the Winterland Slider. Or I said the Winterland Sliderland. The Winter Sliderland. <laughs> I can't speak today. The next kiosk we have is Grandma's Recipes. And here you have the Impossible Meatloaf and Mashed Potatoes. You have the Pumpkin Layer Cheesecake and the Hummingbird Cocktail. All this looks delicious. Next up, we have Making Spirits Bright, and they have a Mickey-shaped gingerbread cookie, and they have a Santa Milk and Cookies Hot Cocoa, and a Maple Hazelnut Hot Butter Rum. That looks amazing. Again, this is a Making Spirits Bright. Next up, we have our favorite things, the Chicken Tikka Mayana. You have the Churro Toffee Cold Brew Latte Cocktail, and Mrs. Claus Hot Cocoa Macaroons. Ooh, that looks amazing. Back over here by the Murray Mashups, you have the turkey poutine, you have the carne carnitas mac and cheese, you have the spicy apple cider margarita. This looks amazing. We have a couple of other sauce we're going to look at. Then we're going to find something to chomp on. All right, everyone, new here to the festival holidays, you have the flavors of Wakanda. What they have over here, you have, ooh. The Peri Peri Chicken, the Dawa Drink and a Butterfly Pea Tea Lemonade. That all looks amazing. Again, this is the Flavors of Wakanda over here in Hollywood Land. All right, everyone. I decided to have a, my treat of the day would be the Butterfly Pea Tea Lemonade here from the Flavors of Wakanda. Let's check it out. And here is the delicious Butterfly Pea Tea Lemonade right here. It has different juices. You know, it looks like a sunset or sunrise or Arnold Palmer, if you guys are familiar with those nice cocktails right there. It's a non-alcoholic beverage, and looks good. We're about to try it right now. 
All right, here's about, we're about to try the butterfly PT lemonade. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is actually pretty good. It's the butterfly PT lemonade here at the uh, Flavors of Wakanda here at the Festival of Holidays here at, at DCA. All right, everyone, before we leave you guys today, we just want to check out this cool holiday merch they have here at the Festival of Holidays. Look at this lounge fly. Wow, this lounge fly is amazing. This lounge fly is $85. Wow, you have the classic bulbs right there too. Very cool. You have your Disney, your Mickey mugs right there. Man, look at this. This is cool. Looks like a cookie jar right there. What's the price of this thing? It looks amazing though. Here it is. It is $64.99. Wow, for that. And you have $20 for these nice mugs right there. That's the mugs. And you have your spirit jersey right here, which is. I think it's 75, but you got cool spirit jersey. You got the holiday Crocs right there. You got the nice spirit jersey right here. And these Crocs are really cool. These Crocs right here. How much are these Crocs? It doesn't say how much these Crocs are, but these Crocs are really, really cool right here. And you have your little ornaments right here, which are amazing. Wow, you got your pillows. You can buy now and pick up later, of course. Again, this is a little kiosk here inside of the Festival of Holidays here at DCA. With that being said, folks, this is a wrap up. This is month's update. Well, folks, there you have it. That's your update for the month of November here at the Disneyland Resort. I hope you enjoyed this episode like I did. Now, I would like to hear from you, DP Hackers. What's your most exciting thing about this episode? Was it all the amazing food here at the Festival of Holidays? Or was it one of the attractions over at Disneyland? Was it the Hannah Mansion Holiday? Or was it a Small World Holiday? Feel free to leave a comment below. This should be fun. In the meantime, if you guys are still having your Disneyland with draws, feel free to check out my channel where I have some fun, amazing Disneyland tips and some fun and amazing Disneyland adventures to help you get your Disney fix. And hey folks, if you really love the content of the channel and would like to contribute to the channel, Feel free to contribute to my Buy Me A Coffee account, account at buymeacoffee.com forward slash D3 plus. Thanks again for watching, folks. Hey, folks, if you like what you see, go ahead and click the like button below and feel free to share this video. More importantly, if you like me, go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a member of the D3 Hacker family. Remember to click that notification bell as soon as I drop the latest Disneyland news. And last but not least, folks, remember to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and also on Twitter. See you guys soon.